NearlyDanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Okay. Mock test eight, guys. Let's see how you guys are doing. Uh oh. Okay, it is the government that actually creates a majority of the law proposals that go for debating and voting in the parliament. Okay, this is a brand new question. Um, hasn't been asked before, but I put it in there just to stretch you guys a bit. And that's the point of these cahoots. All right, next one. Yes, so women started joining the workforce in the middle of the 1960s. Um, that fit, how many people got this wrong? 63, not bad. Great job. To the rest of you that got that right. So New Year is the highest climber up 44 places. Next one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So this is chapter five. And this is one of the, one of the, I think this was part of the new information that was added to the learning material. Okay, so I can see this is a weak spot. So, so far there's been three questions and um, you guys haven't done too good on two of them. Well, now you know what you don't know. Chapter five, okay? Pay close atten attention to chapter five. A lot of new questions come from there. Ramya is the highest climber. We're still on question number four. Okay, you guys did well on this. Of course, uh, this is a frequently asked question. So round of applause to you guys. <laughs> 20 people got it wrong. Um, this is a frequently asked question. So this, you must know the answer to. So um, in the second half of the 1800s, a lot of farmers formed cooperatives to pool their resources and to pool their buying power. All right, on to the next one. Uh, this was a combo breaker, sorry guys. Okay, so Hen Henrik Ponto Pidan, so he won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1917. Um, one of the few days that has won a, um, a Nobel Prize. How many people got this wrong? 48. Well done to the rest of you. Excellent. Let's have a look at that top five. All right, so we have Adi Claudio at number one, Dangle at number two, DI three, Civi four, and N there. At five, 15 players reached an answer streak of four. Great job. Next one. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So for your case to get to the Supreme Court, it has to be it has to go through all the other courts. Um, 20 people got this wrong. This um, mock test, as you can see, is not full of questions you've come across before. OK, so this is to stretch you a bit. But you guys are doing well anyways. Round of applause. All right. We already have a static top five. Static top five. Next one. All right, it, um, The African Farm was published in 1937, Karen Blixen. So <clears throat> sometimes they ask the questions about Karen Blixen, like what was she? She was an author. Um, sometimes they ask what book did she write? She wrote The African Farm. And sometimes they ask when was the book published? So you can see that same, um, the, uh, the topic of Karen Blixen can be, there could be several different questions. And of course, the African Farm wasn't the only book that she wrote, so they could ask about the other one as well. All right, so Dangol is now at number one. 23 players have reached an answer streak of four. Excellent. We still have a lot of questions to go. Next one. You know the answer to this. You've seen this before. This should be a no-brainer by now. We've talked about this a whole bunch of times. We'll see. Nah, not a bump. So 32 of you got this wrong. <clears throat> so the question is, can a government um, be composed of one or more parties that don't all together have a majority in parliament? And the answer is yes. Most of the governments um, since uh, the Second World War have been minority governments. So um, this is a frequently asked question. So please get it right the next time. Okay, so whoever got this wrong, get it right. And when I say for the, for the people that are here for the first time, whenever you hear me say anything like frequently asked question, that's a question that you must know the answer to. And if you're here for the first time, I can show you how to get to those and get to know the answers to that, okay? After this session, a profile will automatically be created for you. So to find that profile, you go to nearlydanish.com and you look for this section that says Kahoot. And then you click on players, okay? And um, it will take you to this leaderboard. And it says, find your name below and click on it to see your progress. So you search for your name, right? I did control F and I searched for Bogdan, for instance, right? And I click on Bogdan's name and boom, I get there. First of all, if you failed any questions in the Kahoot, you will see um, a quiz here with all your failed questions and you can go in there and correct them. And for the, for the most frequently asked questions, you can find them here. And there's four parts. Take all the quizzes. So there's about 200 of these questions. You must know the answers to all of these questions. And once you start playing the quizzes, it will show you, for instance, this question, right? When did women get the right to vote in 1915? It has appeared in 12 previous tests. Okay? Please, FAQs are very important because they make up more than half of the questions that you're going to see on the test day. So do yourself a favor and get to know all of them. All right, next one. 16 players have reached an answer streak of three. Great job. All 
All right. So in June, on the 1st of June, 2022, there was a referendum on whether or not to keep the Denmark's reservations with the EU concerning defense. And um, majority of people voted yes. And those reservations were removed. That's what this question is about. All right. DI is now at number one. Dangola 2, Adi Claudio 3, CV4, and Lynn 39, 5. Next one. Question number 10. Wow. Okay. All right. So this is uh wow, actually this is amazing. I'm surprised this 166 people got this right. Wow. Wow. Round of applause, man. You you guys, yeah. Okay, um, Lin39 has the highest answer streak of 10. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. And she is on fire. She's on fire. All right, next one. Uh-oh. A lot of new questions in this mock test. Okay, so a whole bunch of people got this wrong. This is definitely a weak spot. Now you know what you don't know. It will show up on your profile and you can fix it, okay? So way more than half of you got this wrong. All right, Adi Claudio moving back up the charts. Bess is the highest climber up 23 places. Excellent. Next one. Frederick the seventh was king when um so he was the king he was the last uh king with ab with with absolute power and he signed Grunloan in 1849 and Denmark became a constitutional monarchy all right um how many people got this wrong 61 that's a lot um well now you know what you don't know now you know what you don't know it will show up in your profile. You can fix that later. All right. A whole bunch of people moved. So it's a top five reshuffle. Adi Claudio is now back at number one. Dangle at number two. DH3, NF4, and DP5. Mama, two dragons, is back in the game. Three in a row. Excellent. Next one. We've seen this before. All right, um, nineteen seventy six. How many people got this wrong? 65. That's still a lot, man. It will show up on your profile, so fix that. Dangol is back at number one. Five players reached an answer streak of five. Great job. Mm -hmm. 
This is basically page one, chapter one, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Right, so Freya is the god, what, well, is the god of fertility in Asato. Um, how many of you have got this wrong? 35. Well, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Civi is back in the top five. BBL is back in the game with three in a row. Great job. Next one. You know the answer to this. Is this another explosion? Let's see. All right, close though, close. Round of applause. All right, the, the right, so freedom of speech. Um, it is protected in Gonlong. Someone fell out, can't remember who, but DI took that spot, CV and DP uh, at number four and five. Sunlight is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. We've got 30 questions to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, um, all right, not too bad, uh, 49, okay, we can fix that later. Um, Lila Belt's, Lila Belt's pawn is from the 1970s, Stall Belt's pawn from the 1990s, and Urson's pawn is from the 2000s. So these are questions that have shown up before. Now, Resh is back in the game, and SAS is at number five. Next one. We've seen this before. It's an FAQ, frequently asked question. So it's a question that you must know the answer to. Okay. Uh, 20 people got this wrong. You must know the answer to this, so please fix this. Abida Bevelson was in the 1870s and the Social Democratic Party was a part of that. The Social Democratic Party was created in 1878, around this same time. All right, next one. Okay, we have a static top five. Static top five. 17 players just hit an answer streak of five. Great job. Next one. All right. FAQ as well. Please get this right. Oh, man. Round of applause to the people that got this right. All right, eight people got this wrong. You must know the answer to this. Please fix it when it shows up on your profile. All right, it looks like uh, the competition is between Adi Claudio and Dangle. Adi Claudio just taking that number one spot. Round of applause to Adi Claudio. And that's because he's been consistently coming here. He's been consistently practicing. One of the things he said was that he wanted to be number one. Today might be that day, but we don't know. We still have a whole bunch of questions to go. So 
Let's keep it moving. Claude's is the highest climber up seven places. Great job. Next one. You know the answer to this, right? Another explosion. Let's see. Almost. Um, there's five regions. Sometimes they ask for the names of the regions. 11 people got this wrong. You must know the answer to this. It is a frequently asked question. Okay, we have a static top five again. Static top five. Taong Ting has the highest answer streak of 19. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. All right, and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire. Next one. I just showed you guys the answer to this. This is the most frequently asked question. This is the question that you must know the answer to and it the, has the highest probability of showing up on the next test. <laughs> I literally gave the answer away this right what did i is it still on there yeah look here anyways next one five people got this wrong you must know the answer to this okay um it will show up on your profile so you can fix that static top five again static top five three players reached an answer streak of 12 next one we're getting closer to the halfway point Oh, God. Okay. I think a, a bunch of people heard what I said about the Abide of Wilson and went and chose the Social Democratic Party. I actually said that the Social Democratic Party was created in 1878, not 1870. So Venstra was created in 1870. Eight years later, um, the Social Democratic Party was created. Now, um, when you're in the test, read the question slowly, okay? I'll give you an example. When I was um, taking the test in 2019, there was a question that said, up until 1849, what was the law of the land? Now, I didn't read that question slowly. I just saw 1849. I looked in the answers. I saw Grundloh, and I chose it. But that wasn't what the question was asking. It was saying, up until 1849. And the answer was Kongalo. Exactly. So please read the question slowly. Read the question slowly. Make sure I understand what the question is asking. Read the answers and then you go ahead and answer. Okay. All right. Enough of me ranting. How many people got this wrong? 73. Get it right next time. Static top five. Static top five. Shahi is back in the game with three in a row. Next one. We saw this in a previous Kahoot as well. Right, 564 years, and they left in 1944 during the Second World War. By the way, I wanted to show you guys something. So in the group under featured, Alexandra has been kind enough to share a list of political parties and their leaders when they were created. And I think, you know, some people posted some more stuff in the comments. So um, yeah, you can find that list there.
just wanted to show you if you haven't seen that already. Moving on to the next one, 32 people got this wrong. All right. King is making a comeback three in a row. Okay, someone is saying, according to Focusing website, 18, seven, what? Look, <laughs> whenever they're asking you these questions, they don't care what's on a website on Wikipedia or whatever, right? What they're asking you for is information in the book. So whatever is in the book, that's what you should answer with, okay? I know it might be a bit dodgy, it might sound a bit stupid, but if you go and say 1871, when the book say, says 1870, you might be right, but you'll end up failing it. All right, on to the next one. King is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my, he's on fire! Oh, round of applause. <laughs> Static top five. Static top five. Lolo is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. Next one. Yes, FAQ. Oh, wow. 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 This is incredible. We have two explosions tonight. Wow. Okay. You guys are doing really well. SM is back in the game. Um, three in a row. Great job. You guys are doing really well. I'm actually quite happy about this. So the, the test is about 30 something days out. And um, I can see a marked improvement in a lot of people, especially Addy Claudia. Look, the guy's number one. Wow, round of applause, man. You see, this is what consistency looks like. You have to be consistent. In the beginning, it will feel basically tragic you'll feel very you know demotivated you're like oh i don't know anything how am i going to do this test you know i can't do this la di da you have all these things running around in your head but the moment you just start you know just start you don't even have to read the book to start start and then go and read the book and actually it will help you if you start without reading the book when you're reading the book it starts getting easier and then when you keep practicing the practicing gets easier and then reading the book gets even easier and it's a loop. It's a feedback loop, right? And you have to just keep going through it, going through it. And you see, you start getting better and better. You come to these sessions, test yourself, see where you have your weak spots. You go back, you fix those weak spots and keep going that way until the test. And hopefully you get 100%. That's the goal, okay? Moving on to the next one. We're past the halfway point now. Okay, so it's asking for the names of the, of the five regions. Round of applause. Okay, 10 people got this right, wrong, sorry. Um, fix that, it will show up in your profile. Ahmad is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my, he's on fire! All right, so Adi Claudio is saying he does at least 30 quizzes a day. That's what you're supposed to be doing, especially now that the quiz is about, sorry, the test is about 39 days. Anyways, next one. Uh oh. Uh oh. All 
right. So 1989, Denmark was the first country to give homosexuals the right to enter a registered partnership. And I think Denmark was also the first country in 2012 to give homosexuals the right to get married in the church. All right, so how many people got this wrong? 60 people got this wrong. Um, now you know what you don't know. Next one. Oh, was it Holland? Okay. Anyways, Denmark uh, gave the rights in 2012. So they might not have been the first. In any case, 12 players have reached an answer streak of 14. Excellent. We have Adi Claudio, Dangle, DI, Civi, and Lin39. All right, we're moving on. 2010 was the right to adopt children. This is an FAQ. Frequently asked question, so you must know the answer to this. If you get it wrong, fix it later. 13 years old, okay? Um, you can't work until you're at least 13 years old. 15 years old is uh, when you get tried as an adult by the criminal justice system. Okay, so 13 people got this wrong, fix it. You must know the answer to that. That's frequently asked question. We have a static top five again. Static top five. Six players reached an answer streak of 16. Great job. Next one. A third. Um, okay, this is also a frequently asked question. Uh, 47 people got this wrong. Fix that. It will show up again. This No one is moving in this top five. Okay. Static top five. Kufarino is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. Red and white, the Greenland flag. So sometimes they ask about the symbols in the flag, the colors of the flag, so on and so forth. So um, pay attention to that. This is chapter six, I think. Anyways, 32 people got this wrong. We still have a ta static top five. So these guys are elite players. I know, I recognize all these names because most of them are in the, in the gold league. Is Adi Claudio? Adi Claudio, are you in the gold league? I know Dangle is. DI Civi and Lin39. Okay. This was the combo breaker. Three players just dropped their answer streak of six. Sorry, guys. Next one. Yeah, we talked about this a whole bunch of times. So if you've been coming to the sessions, you've heard me talk about this. Let's see how you guys do on this. All right, it's Torvald Stowning, elected 1924. Also the year that the first female minister was appointed by him. She was also from the Social Democratic Party and she was Una Wiesnitz minister. 26 people got this wrong. This is, is it frequently asked? Semi-frequently asked. Okay, static top five. Len Pang is back in the game with three in a row. Excellent. 
right? Someone is asking, how do I access my profile? I can find my name, but I don't know how to access my stats and the questions I got wrong. Click on your name, find your name and click on it. That's all you have to do. And you will see everything there. Um, no, she was the first minister. Nina Bang, yes, Nina Bang was the first minister. What did I say? Anyways, no, you don't need a password. Just find your name and click on it and your profile is there with everything on it. Okay, next one. I gave away the answer to this already, right? If you guys were listening to what I was saying, you would have heard me say the answer to this. Yes, 1944, 17th of June. Uh, okay, so this was around the time. So what happened was Denmark was in a crisis. I think they had just dissolved the government because they, so the Nazis had come, occupied Denmark, forced the government to work in partnership with them. There was a lot of sabotage activity happening in Denmark. The Nazis were pushing for the death penalty. The Danish government said, we're not going to do that. We can't work with it we're together with you guys anymore. And they quit. And the department chiefs and the civil service were the ones running the country. So when this Forbund's loan, so I think this law has to get, had to get renewed. When it was time to renew the law, there was no one to do it. So that's how Iceland broke away from Denmark. On to the next one. All right, Lynn 32 is now moving, moving to number four. Shahi is making a comeback with three in a row. Great job. Next one. Seen this before, FAQ. Ah, uh, not so FAQ. Actually, I didn't read it properly. But yeah. All right, round of applause. Sixteen people got this wrong. Fix it. it. Will show up on your profile. If you're here for the first time, you don't have a profile on the site, but you will have a profile on the site after the session. So give it about half an hour to an hour, and then you check. Now I'll show you how to check. You can go to nearlydanish.com, find this here that says Kahoot. Click on players, and wait until this loads up. So the leaderboard, boom. And you're probably not going to be in the gold league. So these are the elite players. They've been practicing and they have a lot of points. You're probably going to be somewhere at the bottom. So what I would recommend is that you, sh you search. On a Windows machine, it's Control F. And you see this thing that pops up. And then you look for your name. Let's say Claude's. Right? So Claude's, this is your profile, I guess. Click on it. And boom, you see everything. Okay? So all your incorrect answers from this Kahoot will actually show up here like this. And you can click on that and go and correct them. So fix your knowledge gaps. And then you start the work. So this is all the chapters in the book. So we have uh, quizzes for all the sections and subsections of the book. So th the quizzes cover the whole book, basically. If you want to challenge yourself, which I would highly recommend now because we don't have a lot of time, you do the 14-day challenge. Okay, what is the 14-day challenge? 14 days to complete all the quizzes in all the book quizzes. Okay, as a matter of fact, I think I need to add the rest of these quizzes into that 14 day challenge so people don't get confused. But anyways, you go in there and you have your work for day one. You finish all your work for day one and, you know, do day two, day three. By day 14, you would have completed everything. So challenge yourself. All right. Getting back to this. Ishk is back in the game. We have Adi Claudia Dangle, DI, Lin 39, Civi. I completed all the quizzes from Capital One. Why does it say 0%? Now, you completed them. Okay, so actually, that's a good question. Now, it doesn't count, um, it doesn't count it as completed until you fixed all your errors. Okay, so you have to take the quiz. Oh, by the way, 
um, you have to complete the quizzes on your profile, okay? Not on the other, because there's, there's another part of the website where you just take the quizzes, it doesn't track anything, okay? So for you to see this um, improving, right? You have to complete, come to your profile and complete them on your profile. And that's the way you can track your progress, okay? And you can see your stats here and your stats here. All right, moving on. Um, next one. This is an FAQ. All right, round of applause. Next one. All right, so we have two more questions and we're done with um, the questions from the learning material. And then we'll move on to current affairs and Danish values. We have a static top five. Static top five. Maz is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my, he's on fire. Moving on to the next question. All right, majority of you got this right. And for those of you here, the goal is this. You want your profile to look like Kirby Nine's profile. What does it look like? She's almost 100% done. You can see she's finished chapter one up until chapter six, not finished chapter five, and basically everything else, right? You want to basically go in there and reach, and for you to finish a quiz, you have to do it seven times. So this person, Kirby Nine, has put in some crazy amount of work already, 39 days ahead of the test. And she, I remember she, I think she even stopped coming to the cahoots because she's finished everything. So go there and put in the work, okay? You can do this like in less than two weeks if you're really committed. All right. Sama is back in the game three in a row. Last history question. Uh-oh. All right. Yeah. Think of it as more practice. And, um, you know, you can't, what's, how did I, what's, how do you say this? You can't over practice, right? So basically the more you actually repeat this stuff, the more embedded in your brain it is. So if it shows up on the test, you know, the answer immediately. All right. Um, 64 of you got this wrong. We're moving into current affairs now. Okay. And as we get to um, the question, I'll be discussing the theme of the question. All right, Yash is back on answer streak of three. At the moment, we have Adi Claudio at number one, Dangle at number two, DI three, Lynn 39 at four, and Sivi at five. Um, yes, that was Margaret, the first father. When he died, she, she took over. Okay, so current affairs.
right, all Borg University. So this, the theme of this is an anniversary. And in this case, it's an anniversary that is a multiple of 10. So in this case, it's all Borg University that celebrates in its 50th anniversary and the queen um, took part in this celebration. And um, just to give you guys a heads up to show you where these questions are coming from, they're actually coming from this section. Okay, so all the questions that you see in uh, current in all the mock tests from in the current affairs section of all the mock tests come from these comments. So if you know, study these comments. Basically, come in here and have a look. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, I don't know if someone did I post it here or did I not? I can't remember, but or maybe I didn't. Anyways, I'll post it here later. But yeah, everything comes from those comments. So study the comments. Okay. And also keep an eye out in the news um, because sometimes I might miss something. Like I say, like I've said, you've heard me say this before. I am not the, I am not the holy grail of information for current affairs. Okay. Yes, I do have experience with this. Yes, I, I, I do see the patterns. And yes, we've had, uh, we have a very, very high hit rate for current affairs, but I am not the holy grail. So please keep an eye out. Um, yourself so that you cover my blind spots, I cover your blind spots, and together we see a lot. Okay? All right. Um, how many people got this wrong? Okay, half of you got this wrong. Well, now you know what you don't know. Do I think this is going to show up? I don't think so, but if it does, at least you know the answer to this, right? All right. So, I think Claudia made a mistake. Actually, I don't know what happened, but anyways, we still have a static top five. Static top five. This was definitely a combo breaker. 17 players lost their answer streak of four. We have Adi Claudio, Dangle, DI, Lin39, and Sivi. You know the answer to this already. All right. Uh, Inga Stoibia. The theme of this is political parties and their leaders. And um, Inga Stoibia is the leader of, the, of Denmark's Demokratene. It was a party that was um, created in 2022, just before the most recent Fogarting elections. And she was voted back into parliament. All right, uh, how many people got this wrong? 45 people got this wrong. So now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. So, so far we've covered two themes. Um, anniversaries that are a multiple of 10, political parties and their leaders. I just wanted to show you guys something, okay? Um, if you go to your profile, you will see that there is a section on the current affairs. Click on that, you will see the government, which is the prime minister and his or her ministers political parties and their leaders, and then you see all the other stuff. So these are the current affairs sections from all the mock tests. And these are the, the focused um, themes, political parties and their leaders and the government. So you have to cover all this. Basically, get your profile to look like Kirby Nine's profile. All right, moving on. Next one. Four players lost their answer streak of five. Still a static top five. Static top five. Wow, okay, round of applause. You know, I was deliberately trying to trip. Oh, what am I saying round of applause for? <laughs> okay. So my, my thing worked, okay? I deliberately tried to trip you guys up. 
okay? I actually put Victor Axelson because he's the most famous badminton player. But he didn't win this. He actually, he, uh, he, he lost twice to a French player. So the guy that beat him went on to, then went on to take the second position and played against Anders Antonsen and Anders Antonsen beat that guy. Okay? So sorry, I take back that uh, round of applause. Look, guys, this is the reason why I say pay close attention to what's actually going on, okay? And this is how you get tripped up. Actually, it's, 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 I'm actually quite happy this has happened. I, of course, I'm not happy that you failed this, but this is an example of what could happen. You know, you get tripped up, you see Victor Axelson, of course, he's got to be the guy. No, okay? Pay close attention. And then you won't make these mistakes. Only 17 people got this right. Round of applause to these 17 guys because these are the guys paying close attention to that Facebook thread or the news. Round of applause. <laughs> it had to be done, man. I'm sorry. On to the next one. Okay, it didn't. People in the top five didn't really even budge that much. Okay, SAS now at number four. Uh, four players dropped the answer streak of 16. Sorry. Next one. Oh, by the way, that was... Um, anyways, after this, I'll talk about that theme. So this what this the theme of this is famous dead people. All right, Knu Engo. He um was a uh, force vice minister under Paul Schluter. Paul Schluter was the only prime minister from the Conservative People's Party. And I think he's the prime minister with the longest term. He ruled for like over 10 years or something like that. And um, he appointed this, this chap as minister for defense. And this dude just died. He died in April. The theme of this is famous dead people. Um, the previous question, the theme of that was Danish people doing well in the world, on the world stage. In that case, it was in sports. Yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there because I forgot. All right, um, only 47 people got this right. Round of applause to you guys. <laughs> Next one. Oh, wow. Wow. She jumped everybody. Flipping heck, man. Round of applause. You know, in my five years of doing this, I've actually never seen that movement straight from number five to number one. I've never seen that. Okay. Um, Thorin is making a comeback with three in a row. Great job. Next one. This is an exciting session, eh? All right. All right, round of applause. Okay, so the theme of this is the government, okay? And in this case, it's asking for a specific minister and uh, Minister of Industry, Morton Bull School. All right, so that's the end of current affairs. We're moving on to Danish values now. I also will be discussing the themes. Wow. So the guys that were at the top for a very long time have now dropped to the bottom, number four and five. DI and Civi moved up to the podium at number two and three. This is an exciting session. Anu is back with an answer streak of three. Great job. Um, 
until until when do we need to study current events? For example, the situation with New Bowl, it changes every single day, I feel. Um, you know, <laughs> basically pay, pay attention until maybe 10 days before the test. Okay, maybe I'm pushing it a bit, but 10 days. Because actually what happened was I thought that, um, that's a good question, by the way. I thought that they cut it off one month before the test. However, what happened in the last test was Tolls Lund Paulson was appointed. No, so he was voted in as the leader of Venstra less than one month before the test. And that question actually showed up in the test. What saved us was that I put that, I put that in the practice sessions anyways, because I thought, okay, he's the leader of the party and he, he should be mentioned. So my theory you know, is that just pay attention up until like 10 days before the test. Because if something really significant happens, then it might show up in the test. I mean, it's current affairs, right? So anything could show up that's current. Anyways, Anu is back with an answer streak of three. Um, the first there's two points out of 40 questions include current affairs as well. Yes. So question number one to 40 is, uh, sorry, question number one to 35 is from the learning material. Um, 36 to 40 is current affairs, 40 to 45 is Danish values. And if you fail more than one question in Danish values, it doesn't matter what you got in the previous questions, you failed the whole test. So it's very important Danish values, okay? On to the next one. You've seen this? Right, domestic violence, it's not, um, it's against the law to hit your spouse, whether it's male or female, okay? Some people got this wrong. Uh, read the question slowly, make sure you understand, and then go ahead and answer. The theme of this is domestic violence. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. I'll ask you guys the themes for the next ones. All right, we have a static top five. Static top five. Joe is back with an answer streak of three. Next one. There's been a huge scandal about this recently. All right, so of course the answer is no. Exactly, so the theme, what is the theme of this? Well, someone has already posted it. It's gender equality, but in the context of swimming pools. And actually, um, there's been, what's his name? The, the minister for Uleni, Kar Dubvel Beck. Um, he started a campaign against, you know, because there are some places in Denmark that have um, created separate opening times for uh, men and women at the swimming pools. And um, he's created uh, some kind of campaign to stop that. So actually, it's very relevant. So who knows? This might actually show up in the next test. All right, next one. Chrisona has an answer streak of 11 correct answers in a row, and she's on fire. She's on fire. All right. What is the theme for this? Does anybody know the theme for this? You can write in the chat. Let's see if anyone gets this. Yes, children's rights. Thank you, man. Children's rights, child abuse also. Yes, children's rights. Okay. Um, <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Anyways, for the people that are not doing too well in this, um, look, don't worry. Okay, like I always say, do not worry, do not feel bad. 
just use this as um, a place to come and find out what you don't know, okay? Come here, figure out what you don't know, then go back and plug those knowledge gaps, come back again, and keep repeating this process. And that's how you fill all your knowledge gaps. When you go in into the test, you will have all the information in your head and you'll be done in about five to 10 minutes. However, do not be in a hurry, okay? Take your time, read the questions really slowly, make sure you understand the questions, go ahead and answer. Read the answers really slowly, sorry, okay. This is, I'll take it step by step. Read the questions really slowly, okay? Make sure you understand the question. Then read the answers really slowly. Make sure you understand the answers and then go ahead and answer. All right, we've got two more and we're done for tonight. We have a static top five. Static top five. Chrisona has the highest answer streak of 12 yet again. Excellent. Two more questions. All right, crimes against the state. Human trafficking is not allowed, okay? Human trafficking is not allowed in Denmark. You will go to jail if you, if, uh, you commit any kind of human trafficking crimes. All right, we, we've got the last question. Um, 2024 is back with an answer streak of three. Great job. Last question. Does anybody know the theme for this? All right. <laughs> so the overall theme is freedom. In this case, it's freedom of speech. So, um, but yeah, you don't basically, I think that there was a case where some guy drew up, um, picture of uh the islamic prophet muhammad and i can't remember his name and there was this huge scandal about it and um the the whole thing was that uh in denmark we practice freedom of speech and therefore we do not uh censor that so that was what that was all about and that's what this question is about as well okay um 43 people got this wrong now you know what you don't know now you know what you don't know. This was the last question. Let's have a look at the podium. Sivi, number three. BI at number one. And I think Lynn, 39, right? Yes. Came from nowhere. Number one, we've got Adi Claudia and Dango, four and five. Newlydanish.com.